All right, Shalom. I like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakhakwadash. I like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's whole for elect scattered abroad, teaching his word of sincerity and truth. All right, I'm the brother Ties of War, back at you again with another lesson. All right, um, he that got ears to hear, let him hear. And um, this, this lesson is going to be entitled, Knowledge is Power. Knowledge is Power. Now, this was uh, said by this particular guy, which was trying to explain that knowledge is power. And uh, my question was, you know, which knowledge do you obtain? What is it that, you know, makes your knowledge so powerful? All right. Now, you can have knowledge in the simplest things. You know, you can have knowledge of this world, how to maneuver yourself throughout this world in and out. You could have knowledge in being able to get money. You know, you can have knowledge in school, you know, in Esau's curriculum, his education. You know, you can have knowledge and books, you know, and different authors and subjects. But all that knowledge of this world is all vanity. It's vain. Now don't get me get don't get me wrong. Knowledge is something that you should obtain because today, two thirds, you know, you blacks, Latinos, you don't have any knowledge. Okay? And um, well, which I what I mean, true knowledge. Let me say that. And let me say this too, as the scriptures say, roughly paraphrasing, the knowledge of wickedness is not knowledge. All right. To know how to do wickedness, that's not knowledge. Okay. Now, you know, I didn't want to go into um this heavy debate. Well, not debate, but deep conversation because you know. People in the world, or let's say this, Israelites, you so-called Negroes, West Indians, Haitians, Hispanics, and Native and Seminole Indians, if you don't know the Bible or believe the Bible, you know, it's no need to even explain anything to you. You know, as I was sitting with someone yesterday and we was talking about, you know, and just observing our people and, you know, Jake is done, you know, and I'm talking about old men, older men. All right. To the young men, you know, it starts with the men. You know, these women are folly, man. You know, these women need a hedge. They need a man. But it starts with the man. So even these older guys that I've been around or been amongst from time to time and they always speaking, you know, of some type of knowledge and wisdom. It's not the knowledge and wisdom that's going to be the stability. All right. At the end of the day. I may, if I don't have knowledge in this world, as long as I have knowledge and understanding and wisdom in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, all right? And that's just the truth, you know, because you could know this, you can know that, you can act like this, you can act like that, but all that doesn't matter if you don't know Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So let me say, call halal la Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, which means all praises to the Father. Yahweh in the name of the son Yahweh Shai because he have truly called upon certain men and hopefully these men that's out there putting their life on the line in season out of season the whole for elect may they be of the elect man may they see salvation man all right so I want to go into a few precepts that I dug up real quick you know not dug up excuse me better words that I looked up here in the blue letter and I want to go to the first one which is first Samuel all right. And this is first Samuel chapter two, verse three. It says, talk no more so exceedingly proud. Is that it? Yeah. It says, talk no more exceedingly proud, proudly. Let not arrogancy come out of your mouth. All right. For the Lord, Yahweh is a power or a God of knowledge. And by him, actions are weighed. These scriptures is heavy, man. And this is a clear cut for you guys out there in this philosophy, ways of men. And you claim you got knowledge, this, knowledge, that. At the end of the day, if you ain't got knowledge in the prophecies, knowledge in the name, the true name of the Lord, knowledge in who you are as a true people, knowledge in who recognizing your enemy, knowledge in that this America is Babylon the Great, you're going to be destroyed, man. Because, I, you know, we, we prophesize and we speak. 
you know, this word constantly, consistently, man, firmly, you know. And only the elect can get it. You know, and I truly understand, you know, as I grow more in the truth and more in the truth, because we always growing. It's a lot that I need to grow even more in and uh, keep continuing to grow. But what I've learned at this moment, I even though I, I knew what I understood before, but I now understand more clearly why the Lord told Jeremiah not to pray for these people. Not to pray for them. There's no chance for them. There's no chance for two thirds of our people, man. You are so proud, proudful and proud. And the older the men, these men get. Can't put new wine in old bottles. Stubborn, man. You know. Because you too young. They look at you. You young. You don't know anything. Or it, it goes according to your belief now. You know. Because if they don't believe in the Bible. You know, most of these jakes over here, they believe in the Quran. All right. They believe in both. But we're going to see, man, because true knowledge as coming out of the scriptures of the Lord's words. All right. First Samuel two and three. Talk no more. So exceedingly proudly. Let not arrogancy come out of your mouth for the Lord. Yahweh is the God of knowledge and by him actions are weighed. All right. The, the men of the Lord truly holds the, the, the power, the knowledge of the power, the knowledge of Yahweh, which governs the earth. So I'm going to say it. All right. We understand how this world works and we know what we're going into. We know what's the future for this place. We know what our past was. In order to know your future, you must know the past. That's what the worldly saying is, right? Well, that's true. All right. You suppose the acts of the old paths. So you can know your future, man. Let's get the next one. And there's a lot of precepts here in Job, man, when it talks about knowledge. All right. Let's get to the next one. This is uh, Job chapter 15 and 2. It says, should a wise man utter vain knowledge and fill his belly with the east wind? Yeah. Should a wise man utter vain knowledge, you know, those that's of the hopeful elect, those of the circumcision, you know, wh why, why will we utter vain knowledge when we have the knowledge of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai? We don't come out of our own opinion, you know, we come out of the, the way, the words of the Lord. All right. And none of the words of the Lord are vain. OK, so it says. Should a wise man utter vain knowledge and fill his belly with the east wind? All right, let's get to the next one. This is Job 21, 14. Therefore, they say unto the most high, depart from us, for we desire not the knowledge of thy ways. And that's what these niggas like, man. All right. And, and it gets you angry. But then again, you understand. You know, I'm tired of seeing Jake like this. I'm tired of being amongst them and, 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 you know, let me, let me chill. You know, most high got to destroy this place, man. I'm going to read the scripture again. All right. It says Job 21, Job 21 and 14. Therefore, they say unto Yahweh, depart from us, for we desire not the knowledge of thy ways. And you say that all day long. All right. These two thirds of our people, they say this all day long because the, the ways of the Lord are through the prophets today. All right. You don't ask the Lord for his uh, for his for the ways that you're supposed to follow, you know. So the Lord sent the prophets out there to tell you. All right. Isaiah 58 one cry out loud, spare not lift up thy voice like a trumpet and show my people their transgressions. So regardless if you want to hear it or not, you're going you've been warned, man. All right. And this is what they say. This is what this is what Israel say. And I realize the Lord say, told you not to pray for these people. You know why? Because. You so-called Negroes, you, you Latinos. All right. Native Seminole Indians, you know, that 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 despise this truth. You're not Israelites. You're not Israelites. You are heathens. You 
are heathens. And I say that because that's what you are in the sight of the Most High as, as, as of right now. You are heathens. And you defile the name of the Lord everywhere you go. All right. Everywhere you've been placed upon the earth. All right. They're truly heathens, man. These are not Israelites. They're heathens. If they don't, if they're an Israelite and you know that they're an Israelite by, the, by, the, by, uh, by their spirit, but they don't claim to be an Israelite, they are a heathen to the most high. Straight up, man. And that's why the Lord said he's going to kill two thirds of these people. All right. For your stiff neck, hard head and rebelliousness, man. So Job 21 and 14 again. Therefore, they say unto God, depart from us, for we desire not the knowledge of thy ways. And the most high's knowledge is above all knowledge, man. OK, how beautiful of riches to possess. Like I said in the beginning of the video, man, if, if, if I, I would rather have the knowledge of the Lord. All right. Then to have any type of knowledge of this world, man. I may not have the knowledge of this world or certain little things, but I'm very thankful. Thankful, man, to for to Yahweh Bashim Shai to have the knowledge and understanding and wisdom from Yahweh Bashim Shai, man. All right. This is uh Job 21. Nope. Job 33. Job 33 and 3. It says, My word shall be of a uprightness. Of the uprightness of, of my heart and my lips shall utter knowledge clearly. And this is Job speaking. All right. He says, my word shall be of the uprightness of my heart, which is the mind. And my lips shall utter knowledge clearly, man. And we utter the knowledge clearly by teaching the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. This is why we can tell you we have 100 percent truth when it comes to the Bible. All right. Job. Thirty-four and two. This is the next verse, next chap, uh, next precept. Job thirty-four and two. Hear my words, O ye wise men, and give ear unto me, ye that have knowledge. Straight to the point. All right. This is uh, Job thirty-six and twelve. But if they obey not, they shall perish by the sword, and they shall die without knowledge. OK, the Lord said in Hosea, he said, my people are to dest are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. This is why you jakes are destroyed. All right. This is why, you know, you get pinned down. You can't make it out. All right. And now, Jake, when they know they can't make it out. They just be they just rather be called heathens. But you don't call back. You don't cry out to the most high. You cry out to the government and beg Esau for more. More and more and more for you to be sleep. Basically, you ask them for more night quill. You know, whatever's drugs that put you to sleep, you ask them Esau for more of it. All right? Instead of waking up and asking Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Chai to, to heal our land, man, and to bring us back. All right? Make us perfect with him. Job 36 and 12 again. But if they obey not, they shall perish by the sword. And they shall die without knowledge. So two thirds of you, you Israelites going to die without knowledge. All right. The knowledge of the of the most high. And um, I believe that second edge is nine. The scriptures say they shall know it after death by pain. So you're going to you're going to have to die on this side in order to get the truth. I would rather receive the truth now in my flesh than to have to die on this side just to receive the truth. All right. In the kingdom of heaven, man. Uh, 36, what's that? 37, 16. This is, uh, Job 37, 16. Dost thou know the balancing of the clouds? The, the wondrous works of him, which is perfect in knowledge. All right. The most high is perfect in knowledge, man, which he gave to us. He was perfect. All right. This is why we could clearly see. We can see the vision. We can see the prophecies, man. You know, our knowledge is clear. While, while you hate, you wrestle, fighting, can't get no sleep, spirits messing with you, your mind is tormented because you don't want us to be true. Well, you don't want the word of the most high to be true. And then you don't want us, you know, to be the ones that the Lord has actually chosen and to present it before you. All right. Esau is the devil that the Bible speaks of, and he can't make it into the kingdom of heaven. 
Esau is not Ishmael. Ishmael is not Esau. All right. Let's get to the next one. Job 37.16. I read that. Yep. Job 38.12. This is uh, Job. Nope. 38.2. This is Job 38.2. It says, Who is this that darkeneth count that darketh counsels by words without knowledge? And that's what these men do when they come before us in the camps. You know, you, you basically fulfill this scripture. Who is who is that darkeneth counsels by words without knowledge? If you're not speaking according to Yahweh Bashem Shah, you have no knowledge, man. You don't have the true riches. You can have some knowledge of this world and you baby could get by with that knowledge. But guess what? You're not going to make it out of this world through the through Yahweh Shah by not having the knowledge of Yahweh Bashem Shah. And guess what? In order to have the knowledge of Yahweh Bashem Shah, it has to be given to you by Yahweh Bashem Shah, man. Because that is the faith. You know? First you have to fear, man. In order to retain. If you can't fear the Lord or believe, you're not in the race. You're done. All right? Psalms 14 and 4. Psalms 14 and 4. Have all the workers of iniquity no knowledge? Who eat up my people as they eat bread and call not upon the Lord? Exactly, man. And this is why you got your rappers as your leaders today. You damn idiots, man. You look up to these rappers. Okay, you look up to these, these uh, celebrities as your leaders. Let me read that again. Have all the workers of iniquity no knowledge? Yeah, knowledge in the Lord. Who eat up my people as they eat bread? And they do. They soak you niggas in, man. Through that TV, through that social media. All right? Through, through their sports and entertainment. Who eat up my people as they eat bread and call not upon the Lord? Yeah, these are straight to the point. All right. And it's my last one. And I'm going to wrap this thing up. Psalms 19 and 2. It says day unto day utter a speech and night unto night show of knowledge, man. And that's the men of the Lord. And that is the Internet scripture, which I'm going to read from the first verse. This is Psalms 19 and 1. It says the heavens declare the glory of Yahweh and the firmament show of his handiwork. That's right. This is why the Lord gave Esau the power of the satellites and technology. See, they think that it's given to them that they was going to extend their kingdom or come into this new world order, this new way of living, that you was going to take the birthright. The Lord didn't give Esau the power to take the birthright back from Jacob. All right. He gave you this power so he can so he can show his power uh, in you. All right. He can show his power. Well, let me say this correctly. The Most High use, using you Edomites to show his power in the earth to make all people fear. He's going to use his his people, all right, the elect, all right, to show forth his power over you by putting you into captivity, man. All right, you and the rest of the, the actual heathens, man. And two thirds of the of the Lord's people, you're going to get put to death, man. Straight up, man. It says the heavens declare the glory of Yahweh and the firmament show of his handiwork. And that's the Internet. OK, the high, the Internet of highway of things, man. OK, verse two. Day unto day utter a speech and night unto night show of knowledge because the Internet doesn't go off. You could turn the Internet on at any type of hour of the day and you're going to always see the brothers. All right. Through that algorithm, at least Esau, where he's slowing it down. You're going to click on brothers videos or come across those videos and you're going to see the word being preached all day long, night and day, night and day, night and day. Verse three. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. Because guess what? You can interpret English into whatever language on YouTube to, to, to your language, man. And you can understand what these what, what the brothers are saying, the prophets. All right. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. Or either you got brothers that are speaking these different languages, man. All right. Even giving it to you that way. It says verse four. Their line is going out through all the earth and their words to the end of the world. And them have he set a tabernacle for the sun. All right. So this line is going out throughout four corners of the earth. And like the Lord said, then shall the end come, man. 
All right. So this is going to be the end of the lesson. I wanted to uh, bring this up, I had a conversation and this guy was talking about knowledge is power. But, you know, what knowledge do you possess? What knowledge do you obtain? Is it the knowledge, is the true knowledge of riches, which is Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, or is it knowledge of this world? Your knowledge, the, the, Yahweh Shai said, the fashion of this world shall pass away. All right. So then what? Your knowledge is useless, you know? But Jake can't swallow milk. So how can they, how can you feed them spiritual things? As Paul said, you know, you can't even swallow down uh, basic things. Basic knowledge, man. A, B, C, one, two, three. So how can you retain or, 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 or uh, yeah, obtain something spiritual, man? You know? Scripture says a spiritual man judges for all things, man. You know? But Jake is no longer, you know, you're no longer Israelites. You know, you wasn't before. That's why the Lord woke up the elect, because those are the Israelites. The rest of them, you niggas, you're heathens, man. You're heathens, straight up. You're, you are heathens. You know, Jake don't want to be better. Jake want to be just like naturally, genetically, all right, physically, mentally, spiritually, we're better because of the code that's in us, the, the makeup, the seed chosen by the most high, which are us, the Israelites, so-called Negroes, West Indians, Haitians, Hispanics, Native and Seminole Indians. We're better than these other nations, man. All right. Deuteronomy, the seventh chapter, we're special people unto the Lord and above all the rest. But you know what Jake want to do? No, no, no. We're not better. Why we got to be better? I want to be like him. Jake want to be like a Moab. Jake want to be like Esau. Jake want to be Ham. But Jake don't want to be who they are, which naturally, physically, spiritually, mentally, genetically, you're better. You have melanin in your skin. Our bone structures. All right. Our, uh, our, um. Uh, immune system you know we're not degenerate we're not a degenerate uh uh a degenerate gene man we don't have recessive uh uh, uh lack of pigment in our eye color all right in our skin you know that lets you know who are the people of the, of the earth man the uh the, the the real true people in which the most high created to live in this earth man and we're the special people man our, our forefathers is Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, man. Not the founding fathers of America. You know? And we're not Amites. We're not African, man. We was on Africa, but we was taken from Africa to serve slavery here in Babylon the Great. And our people were scattered through the four corners. So they are confusers of faces. Some of our people, which are Israelites, they look like the other nations. It's something called confusion of faces, man. So don't get it twisted. It's not a it's not about the color, but it is an indicator, man. All right. Because our people are scattered. Some of our people look like Edomites. We look at certain uh, Elder Apostle Gabar did a beautiful show, man. I forgot the lady's name. Uh, Singa or something like that. Uh, I forgot the name. But she clearly looked like an Edomite. But guess what? She's an Israelite and she's proud to be a so-called minority. All right. So, hey, I hope you brothers were edified. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. I like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word of sincerity and truth. Ties of war, Shalom, signing out.